so let's create a incremental app which means then when i click on a button then the button value or the number written on the button will increase so in this way we can learn the events in the react and also we'll see how we can manage all these things so firstly i will do i will delete all these things so from here till here okay and even let's delete this also so i'm starting from start loop and i will say class inc only inc for increment which is now extends react dot component inside this i have to say constructor which will have the props if there is then we have to say super which will grab the props then we have to say this dot state is equal to a count or so counter which will initially as zero this is okay let's define a render function here this render function will going to return and it's going to return a simple anchor tag so anchor tag is good and now href let's give href of http colon google.com that should be google okay here i will say this dot state dot counter and i will say value is then this dot state dot counter and let's define now react dom dot render and this is going to render the first thing which is our component called ink that means increment then document dot get element by id and id name is root so let's start server so i will go here start terminal npm run start and it's going to start yeah here we have and it's now having this error because we don't have to use this okay value is this so value is zero because we have defined initially zero okay so this is good so let's just maximize it what i want whenever i click here so it's not firstly don't have to go to google so it's not good doing that okay now it will work okay so if i click here it's not redirect to google that should we have to prevent this and we have to increment this 0 to 1 so how we will increment this so firstly we have to prevent this so what we have to say we have to say on click and keep in mind we have to use the camel case that means this c has to be capital not small so on click is equal to we will say uh, increment okay but this has to be like this dot increment so dot increment okay so this is good but we don't have to use this single quote we can use this curly braces okay so now if i go to chrome yeah it's okay and we have to initialize this that means we have to create this increment function so let's create this increment function here and in this function what we want we want to increment the counter value to one so i will say this dot set state we have seen that we cannot directly change the value of states so we have to use this set state value and here what we will we can do we can say counter is counter plus one but again this counter has to be this dot state dot counter we are accessing this value so that's okay so this is good and let's see the result reload and again it's 
having firstly error then redirecting so firstly let's prevent the redirection so I will say e that means event so e dot prevent default that's okay so save this file go click here yeah it's not redirecting but we are having some kind of error which says cannot read the property set state but everything is correct why is it telling about this actually we are using this and now because we are on increment function this is binding to increment not to our class so in the constructor we can say this dot increment is equal to this dot increment increment dot bind this save this go to chrome and now if i click value is and you can see it's now working that means our system is properly working and it's not even redirecting so everything is good but i don't think this is actually the good practice because suppose you are having lots of functions like this so do you have to write always like this no that's not the case so instead of that what you can do you can say like this create a arrow function here and you will say e and then e once more and then if i go click here yeah it's again working and this time we can remove this and save this file yeah it's again zero and yeah it's working and this is very cool so we don't have to define this dot increment is equal to this dot increment dot mind parenthesis this okay so let's delete that you can see it's cool but one thing is more you can even eliminate these things also so again you can just use your function okay then here instead of doing this you can say increment is a function which get e as the event now use arrow function and let's go to chrome and you can see it's now working we don't have any e binding here we don't have any binding in the constructor everything is done by this function and this is i think for me is the best way of using this click events so you can see it's very nice so if you want you can change this to button so that should be button once more and reload yeah you can see button is here so i think if i delete this anchor tag that will be nice okay so you can see it's now working great very nice it's absolutely working fine so this is all about the event or click event of the react system let's just push everything to github so i will close the server i will say git status and yeah okay so git add all that's okay then git commit with the m flag means a message so I will say it's like increment app that's good git status clean git push and it's now going to push and everything is now on github.com slash bitfumes slash react tutorials and if I go commits yes increment app is now here that's very nice so we will meet in the next episode till then don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram